Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how you can use Excel, Microsoft Word, and Outlook to do a mail merge to multiple people. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I've got a set of customers, and there's, uh, there's 30 on my list, even though they, they go off the recording here. And I'm going to send out um, emails to all 30 of these customers with a little bit of customization in it. I'm going to go ahead and make some fake customer email addresses real quick for all of these so that we can test that out effectively. I certainly don't want to start emailing a bunch of, bunch of people as part of an experiment. Okay, so I just used a concatenate function to kind of generate a bunch of email variations off of my Gmail address. In case you didn't know, you can actually make custom emails for yourself in Gmail using a plus or a period in between, you know, after your main part of your email. So this should allow us to do a successful test. And something else, just to kind of add a little bit of interest, I'll go ahead and put um, balance. And I'll just do a ran between. We'll assume all these customers have a balance of at least $100 and up to $900. Just auto fill that down. I'll make it a uh, currency. There we go. That'll be fine. And let me go ahead and lock these values in. Okay, so now I have my 30 customer data set. Uh, they've all got email addresses listed and they've all got a balance. Now I'm ready to move on to the next step which is going to be Microsoft Word. Now by the way for all this to work you need to be using Excel, Word, and Outlook and they all need to be the same versions too. So I've, I've read that there can be problems if you try to mix and match. Um, obviously you can do mail merges with other systems but this is how you would do it with the Microsoft Office set. So I've got Excel, I've got my information. I'm going to jump over to Microsoft Word, start that up, blank document is fine. I'm going to head over to the mailings ribbon. I'm going to do a start mail merge, but I'm going to do email messages. So go ahead and do email messages. And you set this up just like you were setting up a form letter or a label. For instance, I can put in, um, oh, I'm sorry, I've got to do select recipients, use my existing list. Let me go to my desktop where I have it saved. And this is my raw data for databases. And this is my 30 customers worksheet. There we go. So now I can put in insert customer's first name, comma, and then I can say, um, you know, thanks for shopping at Ralph Co. You currently have an outstanding balance of, there we go. Please submit payment soon. Okay, and I'll just put in my name as a signature. So at least now you'll be able to see some customization, and that's where this is going to kind of go. So I've got this ready to go, and I've inserted the fields that I want to. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Finish and Merge, and this one I'm just going to head over to Send Email Messages, and it's going to pop up a new dialog box for me. Okay, so where is it going to go to? It's going to go to my customer email. That's one of the fields that I had in Excel, customer email. The subject line will be um, balance due for Ralph Co. Mail format HTML and I'm all ready to go. So I'm going to click OK and you should see a really quick reaction to this. It's just flying through all the versions. There we go. Now to find out if it actually worked, I'll jump over to my Outlook, which is what I use here at the office, and I'm in my Sent Items folder. These are all the emails that were just sent in the last second. Um, and of course, there we go. We can see, you know, there's the email to Valerie, one to Marie, one to Johnny, one to Christian, one to Carlton, and they all have their balance information in there. So that's the emails have been sent. Now I'm going to jump over to my uh, Gmail account. And sure enough, here we go. So I've got a bunch of emails, balance due for Ralph Co. And these are all the emails received in my Gmail account. Of course, they all came to me, but in real life, you would certainly have each individual would have their own custom email. So that's a kind of a quick way that you can do a mail merge to email messages. This is using Excel 2013, Word 2013, and Outlook 2013 all combined. Take care.